You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Alright, what is going on you guys? This is Spitzgate and this is going to be a little bit of a speculation video uh, in regards to the new console like variation that is coming out so we have what the ps4.5 or ps4 neo and we also have the xbox one s and project scorpion or project scorpio that is going to be the new xbox which i'm assuming is either going to be the xbox 720 or the xbox 2 and the new ps4 which uh, is probably going to be the ps5 but i think i have this proposal that may just completely change the face of the console uh, generation, if you would. So I propose, you know, since, you know, PS4 and Xbox, you know, they've been going back and forth at it for the longest time. You know, PS4 has this amount of processing power compared to the Xbox One, and the Xbox One has this graphical enhancement over the PS4, and the PS4 has this over this, and the bit a bit a bit a bit. I propose that since the PS4 and the Xbox One are already essentially cheap gaming PCs, why don't they just make it like that? Literally the simplest thing. Why don't you just make the PS4 and the Xbox One like a PC? Now you guys are probably thinking, well, what the fuck are you talking about, Pitsky? You know, uh, you know, the PS4, uh, 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 it, it already is a PC, you know, it just has the PS4 software and bada 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 bada. No. You, uh, in fact, you can actually just download the PS4 software. Like, for example, you can theoretically get a hard drive, completely format the hard drive, and then just install the PlayStation software onto the hard drive. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Yeah, you can just download the PS4 software. Um, it's basically, they have it available so that way, if you want to move to a bigger hard drive than the 500 gigabyte standard, you could do that. You know, you're allowed to download the PS4 software for free. So, theoretically, you can just download the PS4 software onto like a $800 PC and play it, right? I don't think so. But you guys understand what I'm coming at, right? If you can download the PS4 software onto a hard drive and then just have that be like a PS4, then why don't they just do that with consoles, you know? I mean, it's literally such a simple idea. And the fact is, I know that, you know, the newest games require a lot of processing power and stuff like that, but why don't they just make it so that way the PS4 is essentially a built PC with software on it? Make the PlayStation software an OS. And I think it already is an operating software but actually link it or actually list it as an OS because for example if the PS4 5 comes out and it is way much more malleable than it is currently as a PS4 and stuff like that sales would do so much better because like for example let's say that the PS4 or the PS5 you can buy it stock right and when you buy it stock it's going to be slim it's going to have everything needed in order to run the games and but you can buy this expandable version which is fatter which is like way bigger it's pretty much like a miniature uh tower case for example but you can actually take it apart now i know not a lot of you guys are tech nerds or complete you know into technology or shit like that but imagine how cool that would be you guys know the gtx 1080 you know the best graphics card on the market right now that i own what if you could take apart your expandable PS5, shit, I just turned it on, and you can, my disc came out, and you can put in the GTX 1080, and I'm not saying that, you know, now, no Pitscape, because then now if we want to play the new game, you know, like The Witcher 5, you know, if we want to play The Witcher 5, we need to not only buy the stupid PS5, we also have to buy the GTX 1080. No, 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 I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that why don't we just 
uh, why don't we just be given, like, why aren't we just given the freedom to upgrade our consoles on our own? And, for example, let's say we take out the current processor that the PS4 has and we slip in an Intel Core i7 6700K at 4.0 gigahertz. We slap on some more RAM. We slap on, let's say, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Let's just slap that on too. And then let's uh, take out the graphics card and slap in like a GTX 980 Ti. You know, let's just push that in there. And then let's throw in another, uh, let's say let's throw in a SSD, let's switch out. Let's put an SSD on there, like the Samsung 950 M2. And then we'll also put a hard drive in there. Now how fucking badass would that be? And I do know that, let's, I do understand that a lot of people may not understand what I'm talking about. And for those PC nerds that do understand what I'm talking about, you guys also might be questioning why I would be doing this because you know I don't think that you know consoles are going to be like oh look you know now you can game in you know 144p 60fps if you just add this amount of upgrades no I'm not saying that at all but I am saying that if we are allowed this possibly we will never need another console again if the PS5 actually does like for example let's say the ps5 does come out and it's completely malleable you know what i'm saying when the ps6 supporting the people who bought the ps5 and are now ready to upgrade to the 6 but don't want to spend that much money. When you think about it, it's a genius plan. But I don't think that companies such as Sony and Microsoft would be willing to, you know, spend extra money in only to just lose more money. Because, you know, if you buy the PS5 right now, or if you buy a PS5, and then you just go to a PS6, it's gonna, it's gonna make them earn more money. But that would be such a cool feature. And if honestly, if that was available to the PS4, I would be completely cool with it. Not because I want to play better, not because I want to play in 4K on the PS4, 60fps, not because of that, but because if you have, you guys know, you guys should probably know this, if you guys have like a god tier PC like me, it's quiet. It's quiet and you can stress it and it can still stay quiet if you wish it to. Now I'm not saying that, watch, for example, I'm going to pick you up, welcome to the top of my PC. All right, you can hear the fan. So I'm going to go into an application right now, which allows me to modify my system fan speed right now. The profile's on quiet because I'm not doing anything. Let me turn it on performance. Now I'm going to switch it back to quiet. You see the difference? Now I know you, this is probably like a very redundant, you know, video topic, but it just, I wanted to get some of my thoughts out on there. And I think this can actually really be a useful thing for marketing because let's say if one, like if PS4 goes with the malleable thing to where you're able to upgrade it compared to the Xbox, which just stays the same, you will literally be making so much more. They would, they would literally be making so much more money and sales it would just it would skyrocket because not only that but also if you ever do encounter a problem with your you know ps4 or xbox one they could probably sell spare parts and you know you could probably go to like gamestop or um i guess you could say a hole in the wall computer repair joint and they'll be able to take a look at it and tell you what's wrong and then you could just buy that specific part and then just replace it without you know having to go buy a completely new console that could save money in the long run for you and it can also just help your system become more quiet you know just like my pc if you make it god tier or if you make it ex exceptionally well it won't make a lot of noise when playing now my ps4 makes a shit ton of noise when i'm playing like you just hear that fan 
if I, I really want to replace that fan with like liquid cooling for the CPU or to just have a more quieter fan or even to just shove a can of compressed air up its ass and hit spray, you know. I just, I want this to be a reality, but the sad thing is it probably won't be, but just thinking about it, just it literally makes me feel like we're at that point in technology, you know, technology is evolving faster than we are. I think this should be a thing. I really do think this should be a thing. Leave your comments or leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah. That's about it, you guys. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys stay safe, stay sexy, and stay awesome. And I hope you guys like my new outro. I know I called it my intro in my previous commentary about the YouTube purge, but my outro. <laughs> All right, you guys. Peace.